All right, guys, so we're going to dive in here and show you guys the benefits of the Facebook Pixel as well as how to install it real quick. So this is my normal business page. You can access it from your personal page as well. Just go up to the menu here, click, drop down to manage ads. Then uh, this is your normal ad manager, campaign manager uh, here. You're going to go up to tools, select pixels. Then under here, once you get to this screen, you're going to go to this actions, click that, and then hit view pixel code. You can also email the pixel code to your web developer for those of you that have somebody that handles that for you. You can just simply email them it and they can throw it on every page of your website for you. But for those of us that don't have that, you can do the view pixel code. So you view it, it's right here. This little video here shows you where it's supposed to go on your website. So it says here, copy the code below and paste it in between the head and head in your website code. The pixel will track visits to every page of your website. So you just click it, it automatically copies it uh, to your notepad and then you can go ahead and install it on every page of your website. All right, then after that is done, um, what you're gonna wanna do is create some audiences. So if we go to audiences here under tools, you'll see uh, some different audiences that I have set up. What you guys are gonna wanna do is take all the emails from your past brides that you have and export them from whatever software you use or put them into a spreadsheet, like a CSV file is probably the best. Then you're gonna go over here to create audience, click on it and then create custom audience. This little screen is gonna pop up here. It's gonna ask you what you wanna make the audience from. You're gonna do from a customer list, which is going to allow you to just simply upload all of your uh, past bride contacts right into their own audience. So you click that, and then here the next screen is, you're gonna upload that file. So click on upload a file. You're just gonna either drag and drop your CSV file right here, or you can upload it through going through here. And make sure that this is set to emails. After that, hit create an audience, and you will be set to go. It will automatically create the audience for you. Once you've done that, you can see here, these are our past brides, um, or I'm sorry, right here's our past brides. So we have 200 uh, past brides that we imported their email addresses into Facebook. Then from there, we went up to, um, you can basically click on it or you can go up to create audience, but uh, you can click on it here and then hit actions and then create lookalike. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all the emails and all of the information that you already know about your current brides and you're gonna tell Facebook, go look for more of those types of people. So it's gonna take their Facebook profiles and match them up as much as they can with other brides that may be good for you. So you just hit create lookalike and then it will automatically create a lookalike past bride for you as well. It's really important to name them so that you know what each audience is. All right, so once the audiences are built, then you're gonna go back to manage ads <clears throat> and you're gonna create your ad. So up here in the upper right hand corner, click create. Um, you can decide whichever one is going to be good for you depending on the type of ad that you're doing. If it's a picture, if it's video views, or you want people to claim an offer, or whatever it may be. Most of our ads we found uh, work really, really well if we use videos or if we use something that we're giving away for free and we just want um, you know, impressions on that. So uh, let's just go with get video views for now and we'll select our page. All right, and then we can name our campaign if we want to. We can hit and then hit continue. But basically what you did is you created that audience of past brides. So what you're gonna do is when you click on here, you're gonna see it automatically pop up. So here's my past brides and then, so I can advertise directly to them if I wanted to, or I can just use the lookalike past brides, um, which it's already found two million people that may work for me. So I can select that and then my audience is already selected. So all I need to do is go in here and select where my, you know, my country, age range and, and whatnot, um, anything that I want to do as far as their likes and behaviors. But remember that this entire custom audience was based already around 
um, the fact that we imported our brides. So you won't need to really do too much down here. Um, maybe your age range and things of that sort, but not, not really much that you're going to need to do. Then as far as budget, you're going to have to play around with the budget. I have found that $40 a day um, works really, really well for me uh, and, and the type of rides that I'm trying to attract. Uh, what you're going to want to do is kind of use your actual, like, uh, I guess, mess around with ideas of what you're going to use for your copy in each ad. Uh, so it's like, you know, if you're going to advertise to brides and you want to try to get, you know, chic brides or DIY brides or whatever it may be, um, you can use uh, kind of adjust your copy and see which one people are interacting with best. As well, and in addition to that, you're going to want to switch out the pictures that you use and videos that you use, or however you're reaching um, the, those people, and see which one is going to be best. So I normally test them for about seven days, and after that, I can pretty much get a good idea as to what's happening. So that's pretty much it. You want to go in, install the pixel to every page of your website. Then you want to create a custom audience by importing all of the past bride emails that you have. And then from there, you can go in and start targeting them.